What is going on guys? Yes, I am back and boy does it feel good to be back. It is currently 3.50 a.m. and yes, my schedule is back to being screwed. Um, <laughs> I decided to make this video now. Uh, I don't know, I was just doing a little editing here and there for some other videos I have planned and stuff like that. And this video is going to be Stories with Crimson number 3. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, this story occurs my sophomore year of high school, uh, towards the end of the sophomore year, we were taking EOCs, which is for, which is end of course exams. So, end of course exams, basically, if you don't pass them, you don't graduate or whatever to the next grade. So, they're really important and stuff like that. So, the test that I was taking at that time was reading, which was my easiest subject at, at the time. So right when we started, like half an hour in, I had already finished my test completely. I had already whizzed through it and I was done. But we couldn't leave the testing area until lunchtime came around. So I raised my hand, told the administrator that was there watching us, I was like, hey, I'm done. She's like, oh, well, you can't leave till lunchtime comes around. I was like, all right, great. Just, what the hell am I going to do for another goddamn three and a half, four hours? She's like, oh, just like sit here and do whatever, and then I'll come get you when uh, the bell rings for lunch. I was like, all right, whatever. She leaves, and I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to catch some Zs, all right? I'm, I'm just going to knock out. This will go by fast, all right? So I knock out, right? I completely, 100% knock out, all right? I guess four hours go by. The teacher comes back back to me. She touches me on the shoulder. She's like, hey, it's lunch. It's time to get out, you little crackhead. I was like, uh. I lift my head up, and the whole left side of my face, it looked like I had thrown the left side of my face into, like, a bucket of water. There, My whole testing desk area where I was at was covered in drool. I had fell asleep with my mouth open, and for four straight hours, saliva was coming out of my mouth. It was, it was horrific, alright? I lift my head up, and it just, it's running down my face, the table's covered, my friend next to me who is sitting there just starts cracking up, he's dying, alright? The administrator just looks, and she's like, what's going on? So she walks around, and she sees all the drool, and my face just soaked. And she's standing there just completely stunned. She looks like she had just seen, like, a midget forcefully crawl his way into another man's body. Alright, it was... The look on this administrator's face, it was priceless. And my reaction was equally as priceless. Right when I had finally realized that I had just gotten back from a trip to Niagara Falls, I had grabbed all the scratch sheets from my area and my friend's area and proceeded to use them as if they were napkins. And I threw them on the drool and just started like slashing it left and right, like trying to get rid of it, thinking that they were napkins that would actually suck up all the freaking saliva that was on this desk. That was a bad mistake. I just ended up throwing saliva just everywhere, and it was just a horrible, horrible just moment, all right? I was so stunned, I didn't even know what to do. I, it looked like I had just seen the midget crawl into the guy's body. It, I was just so stunned, and I had no idea what was going on, all right? After a while of, a, like, furiously trying to clean up the drool with like several pieces of scratch sheet paper I just gave up all right I accepted defeat <laughs> I knew that this was imminent and there was no stopping this all right so I crumpled up what was the mess of drool covered papers I crumpled them up stood up pushed my chair in went to the door threw away the papers and went to lunch and after lunch, I just went straight to class, and every single class for the rest of that day, I slept. I just wanted to get this day over so quick and go home and just forget about it. The next day, I come to school figuring that I would get called into the office, 
or something like that, or my friend would be like, dude, what happened yesterday? What was all that about? Nothing, all right? That day acted like it ceased to exist, and nothing happened after that. I never got called in and never got spoken of again. Nothing. This day just buried itself in, like, the depths of history itself, all right? And now I'm sharing it with you guys. Later on, when I finally got my test results back, I actually came like three, two or three points shy of commended performance. Like I said, reading at that time was my easiest subject. And God, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't really regret. I guess falling asleep there because then I wouldn't have the story to tell. But I mean, that's <laughs> it's definitely something like who falls asleep at school during a test during an EOC end of course wake up after four hours and their entire I'm not kidding when I said my entire area where I was testing my entire like desk was completely covered in drool it looked just like glass it was so shiny and oh my god there was so much drool everywhere and <laughs> I just, I just, it was, it was something, I don't know guys, <laughs> I really, I really hope you guys enjoyed the story, and all that stuff, be expecting more uploads from me, I'm gonna get back into the swing of things, I have a private match montage that I'm creating for you guys, I wanna get a couple more clips for it, I have a weekly special planned out, and I have just some regular, normal videos planned out for you guys. So be looking forward to all of that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the chem gameplay in the background, the story, all that good stuff. And that's really it, guys. So it's been your boy Crimson. Deuces.